So which is better for writing fiction, the past tense or the present tense? Now, I know what I'm supposed to say. I'm supposed to say, well, you know, it depends, doesn't it? It's horses for courses, isn't it? You know, it's six of one and half a dozen of the other. But I'm not going to say that. I'm going to tell you the truth. And the truth is that the past tense is wonderful and the present tense is rubbish. See, the, the, the present tense, right, it's, um, it's historically very recent. It's very vogue, and I agree with Ursula Gwynn that it's that it's somewhat overused. See, the, nobody wrote in the present tense really until uh, till sort of John Updike pioneered it in Rabbit Run, which was published as recently as 1960. And Updike told the Paris Review that in part using the pr present tense was supposed to emulate the cinematic mode of narration. Uh, and there's this idea that the, the the present tense is somehow more immediate than the past tense. Um, and I dispute that. I, I agree with Ursula Le Guin, who writes in, uh, in Steering the Craft, that I think the mere name present tense leads some writers to assume that present time narration implies immediacy, a story time close to the reader's present. Therefore, they assume that use of the past tense implies a remoter time. This is naive. It doesn't work that way. I've read effective stories in which recent events were told in the past tense and the present tense was used for what happened a long time ago. The tenses have so little connotation of actual presentness or pastness that, in that respect, they're interchangeable. But probably the most thorough attack on the present tense comes from David Youse uh, in a splendid book called On Writing Fiction, Rethinking Conventional Wisdom About the Craft. Now, Youse devotes a whole chapter to this topic, but here I want to consider just one argument in favour of the past tense. Because the present tense uh, is supposed to be immediate, it's supposed to be happening now, it makes it really hard to alter the chronological sequence of events or to vary the relationship between story time and narrative time, to speed things up or to slow things down. If everything's happening now, then it's quite difficult to move back and forwards in time. In, in contrast, if you're telling the story from the future and everything's happening in the past, then it's very easy to choose which sequence you want to present those events in. Similarly, a past tense narrator can very easily use foreshadowing. Uh, they can write something like, At the time, I had no idea of the terrible fate that would befall me. But a present tense narrator, well, there's no, uh, there's no easy way that they can drop a similar hook. So, I urge you then to, to reconsider that faithful but neglected friend, the past tense. Thanks a lot for watching and good luck for your writing.